Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 901. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 901 to 904, click on the link below the video. Hey, here we want to type in an ID here and have first and last name from our data set appear in one cell. So we have to look up and return an item from last name column and first name column and return them to one cell. Now I'm going to add data validation here so that we can only allow values from this column here. Alt D L. I don't want to allow any value. Tab. So I'm going to want a list. So I'll select list, tab, and the source is right here. Click OK. And now we have a drop down. And we can select 102. Once we select 102, we need to look up Lung and FAM and return them both to one cell. The index function is absolutely amazing. Notice the argument here says array. That means this argument can handle arrays. We can simply join these two columns together. Now, array formulas mean that you're doing some operation on m more than a single cell. So our operation is, I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to join it. I'm going to use the ampersand, Shift-7, and I'm going to join it with a space and then the second. So I want it to show Lung Fam. So I'm going to join it with in double quotes, space, in double quotes, and then another ampersand to join it with this first column. So we've joined three things, column, space, second column. Now that's this is an operation. We've joined, There's we're joining columns. Usually in formulas, you have to use the keyboard entry method of control shift enter but index specifically can handle this array operation so that's going to be our lookup range actually if you highlight it and hit F9 you can see sure enough it has created a single column in array syntax semicolon means go down to the next row so there it is a single first name last name in a cell and then first name last name in a second cell all right, control Z, I hit F9 to evaluate and look at it, but I don't want to leave it like that. Comma, row number, I'm simply going to use the match function. The match function is a lookup function. The lookup value will be ID, comma, to get to our lookup array. I'm going to highlight this range right here. Match is awesome. It just looks through and finds the relative position, which is 2, which tells the index function it's the second record, comma. If these are not sorted, you have to put a 0 for match type to make it an exact match. Mine happens to be a data set where our first column ID is always sorted. So I'm going to leave that off and accept the default approximate match, which would be faster calculating for a large data set. All right, that's it. The row number, the match will deliver that row number. I'll hit F9. That's correct. It needs from our concatenated joined uh, single column to know it's the second record to return. Control Z, close parentheses on that, enter. So now I can select 103 and it returns Frank Smith. 101 and it returns Tina Graham. All right, we'll see you next trick.